Good morning. Today is the 16th day of August in this 2024th year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, we got another beautiful day today. The mornings have been a little cooler, which has been a blessing. Yesterday, I uh, played a round of golf two days in a row. I haven't done that forever and uh, had the best game of golf I've had in years. I don't know what was happening, but uh, I was very, very pleased with uh, my round and uh, enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, today we have a family coming to visit. Uh, ben and Ashley and Cyrus will be coming in sometime later this morning and uh, spending the weekend. We're really looking forward to that. And then on uh, Monday, Vanita has her uh, uh, total hip replacement. Uh, so we will have uh, a little bit of uh, inconvenience there in terms of uh, our routine and uh, we'll look after each other and uh, I'll take care of her the best I can. We've got food in and uh, planned some meals ahead that I'll work on. Uh, so uh, pray for her that uh, the hands of the surgeons will do their, their thing and she'll finally have some relief from uh, a lot of pain that she's been having. Uh, other than that, uh, enjoy your weekend going forward. And uh, today we start with a reflection uh, upon uh, the 16th of the Psalm. Protect me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the holy ones in the land, they are noble in whom is all my delight. Those who choose another God multiply their sorrows. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or take their names upon my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I keep the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand and I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body also rests secure. For you do not give me up to shale or let your faithful one see the pit. You show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasures forevermore. And this is the word of the Lord. In The Captivating Presence by Albert Edward Day, we hear these words. When we say that God is holy, we are not naming an attribute among others such as love and mercy and wisdom and power. We are attempting to designate something that applies to all his attributes, something that gives them an awesome dimension. We are saying he is the changeless one. His love never fluctuates. His mercy is inexhaustible. His wisdom cherishes all that is truly good. His power can always be trusted to act redemptively. The supreme wonder and unparalleled glory is that he is all that he is unchangeable. In him is no variableness. That's the New Testament assurance. So we need not speculate what will be his response whenever we turn to him, whether it be from an hour of victory or from a night of defeat, from an act of which we are proud or from one of which we are heartily ashamed. Our heads may be held high or bent very low. We may come jubilantly to thank him for what he has done or to barely utter a faint cry for help. It matters not who we are or what we are. A holy God is a God in whom there is nothing to adulterate or diminish or alter the transcendent qualities which our weakness or our sinfulness need. 
He is always God. Nothing is ever missing from him. If he is to be what all human mankind must have to make and keep it truly human on the way to its fulfillment in him. Sometimes the best of us have days when our dearest friend must say, you're not yourself today. That fact gives them a hard time and sends them away deprived of what they should have from us. But God is always God. And let us pray. O timeless and eternal one, we turn to you this day and praise you, O God, for your changelessness, for your security that you offer to us whenever we may turn to you. Lord, there are those that would see you as a damning and condemning and hateful being that seeks wrath upon the injustice that we sometimes perpetrate, but we know that when we turn to you, you will understand. You have seen the inhumanity of humanity for generation upon generation, and yet you allow us to exist and to persist in our life within this world. Oh Lord God, give us hearts anew, hearts that are like yours, hearts that are full of love and mercy and justice and peace and righteousness and goodness and mercy and kindness toward each other. Help us to transform this world from the hateful place that it sometimes can be to one that seeks understanding of the differences between peoples, that seeks concord and a way through to a new day for all people. Lord, when we forsake others of their rights and the goodness that they deserve, we bring the same upon ourselves, for we distance ourselves from you. Help us, O oh Lord, to seek in your word, your guiding ways, your more loving presence. Care for those that have needs far greater than we in this broken world, for those that have suffered from addiction, the loss of loved ones, the hatefulness and the injustice perpetrated upon them, for those in war-torn areas of Gaza and the Ukraine that there might be peace between those that would seek them and their lands and their ways. Bring an end to terrorism, that helpless feeling that many feel because of the powers that reign over them. Help them to find a way through to a more cooperative life and way. Be a blessing to those for whom we seek your healing. For Vanita, as she faces surgery next week. For Donna, Miriam, for Tom and Nikki, for Elaine, for James and Evelyn, for Evelyn Tompkins, Mark and Katie, for Laura, for Jenny and Carol and Linda and Barry, for Kenneth and Gay, and we give you thanks for successful surgery for Kenneth on his eye. And we pray in the days ahead, good recovery for him. And we ask that you hear our hearts desires for the well-being of those for whom we love. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. 
The Lord look upon you with favor, giving you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord, this day and forevermore. Amen.